What's up, people? Your boys back again, and uh, actually, I'm kind of like concerned about a certain matter, and I thought that a video needs to be made on this. And uh, whatever small amount of people that I can reach, I should actually reach them and try and inculcate this habit, which I don't want, but which I think is actually necessary when you're actually going ahead into a fitness lifestyle. And that is when you actually start a gym, how start the gym or start training, how important is form or the correct uh, way to do an exercise. Now, when I talk to beginners, okay, there are two things that I want to say. One, I cannot stress enough how important form is when you're actually working out. Okay. You need to understand this. Form is of absolute importance. It is very important for you to get the exercise correct first and after that, go ahead and increase the weight. There is no point in doing an exercise wrong with heavy weights. Okay. There are multiple exercises which people do wrong. Almost every exercise, there is a way of doing it wrong. And people discover new ways to do it uh, in a wrong manner. I mean, the barbell curl is done wrong in numerous ways. Some of them bend their back backwards, some of them push from their quads, some of them start rolling, rocking. That 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 that's not how barbell curls are done. I'm just taking an example. Okay. And that obviously will hinder your progress that is taking uh, tension of your targeting muscle or targeted muscle and it's also putting tension on some of the muscles which don't need to be tensed in that movement. Where the fuck is your lower back involved when you're doing a barbell curl? I mean, I can understand when you're going heavy or when you're doing cheat curls, but cheat curls has a different place. You're not doing cheat curls. You're not a pro. So why do cheat curls? First, master the exercise. Leave your ego out of the gym. That is my first uh, plea to you. Please leave your ego out of the gym. Either you or your ego have a place at the gym. If you want to carry your ego with you, just make sure that you're not going to get any gains out of it. That's one. The other thing that I want to say to the beginners is don't be a form police to people who've been working out for a lot of time. Okay. Now, I've seen people who have worked out six months, eight months, ten months, questioning people or trainers who've been doing it for five years, six years. And whenever... Uh, Someone or some third or fourth person will tell them that Kya kar rahe hai? Kyun kar rahe? Why are you questioning them when those guys are probably three times your size? Then the one retort that they have is Yaar ye to steroid bro. I mean the guy has taken steroids. So that see if a guy is bigger than you, it's very easy to say that he's on steroids, that's why he's bigger than me. Aapko kaise pa? When you see some people, it's very obvious that the guy is on juice. But how do you know that if a guy is natural, if you, you yourself have an experience of six months into weight training, you are no one, you do not have the capability to tell people whether they are on steroids or not, to tell anyone. You yourself are not experienced enough on it. So you're no one to comment. So please stop form policing. Maybe he's not on steroids. Half of them are not. Regular gym trainers, not all of them. Regular gym trainers, regular gym goers, not all of them are on steroids. But still some of them are big. I have been accused of being on steroids. And I have been questioned on my form as well. And yes, there are some twitches or some tweaks that I do to my form to avoid my injuries. Do you know what injuries that the person has that you're judging his form? I have had surgeries in my shoulder, in my right ligament. I have problem in my left, I have problem in my left elbow, in my right uh, wrist. So I need to wrap up or I need to shorten my range of motion for certain, for certain movements to avoid injury. So there is no way that you know how I am dealing with it. So please don't question form. Don't be a form police. You be concerned about what you are doing there instead of criticizing what someone else who is thrice your size is doing. Maybe it's working for him. 
a lot of people have seen yes he's not uh, touching the bar to his chest or he's not coming low enough when he's not going as to grass in squats or something if you break parallel in squats it's a fair squat that's how a squat counts okay you don't have to go as to grass it also causes tension to your pelvic bone don't be form police unnecessarily especially when that person is twice your size maybe he's on roids but there is a huge chance that he may be not that he is not on steroids he's just working hard and maybe that's working for him maybe he has fucked up knees how do you know you just be concerned about your form you want to go as to grass go as to grass before commenting on someone else please make sure that you get your form right yes i am always a proponent of doing heavy lifting okay increasing your numbers but in a correct manner this now i i am aiming this to the intermediates and the advanced lifters yes there is a certain amount of ego which will be there and it cannot be ignored ignored whoever says he doesn't have a little bit of ego when he's lifting and he's not proud of his numbers is lying okay even kai green is fucking proud of benching 495 on the incline so you're not you're not bigger than kai green in the fitness industry so don't tell me that you're not proud of your numbers all of you are all of you have a certain amount of ego but you make sure that that ego stays within its limit and it's not driven to an obsession where you just want to get numbers on the bar without doing the exercise currently uh, correctly there's no point of moving a quarter of an inch in any exercise and doing it correctly like you put 600 pounds on the squat bar and then you're moving a quarter of an inch you put 400 pounds on the bench bar and all you're doing is extending your elbows and moving the weight a quarter of an inch and shouting for no fucking reason so this there's no there's no point to it there's no point of adding 700 pounds 800 pounds to a bench to and go ahead and unrack the bench and then after two or three times shouting without moving the weight for an inch re-racking the bench there is no fucking point in it you're not working anything your strength your muscle the only thing that you're working is your tendons and you will get to know that when you're 40 plus so make sure that your lifting routine is a combination of your ego so that it drives you to beat the number beat those numbers which you have right now and go ahead and make sure you keep it right here that you always focus on the form yes a certain bit of sacrifice is there if you are benching and instead of touching the bar to your chest maybe you are pushing it right back off one inch above the chest okay that's fine or maybe you're not going fully extending because you have an elbow issue you're just keeping just you're keeping just short of elbow extension those kinds of tweaks are fine a little bit of back when you're doing really heavy barbell curls is fine but that doesn't mean you do lower back curls instead of bicep curls or that doesn't mean that you move one inch when you're benching or one inch when you're squatting please make sure that if you do an exercise at least you do it 80 percent correct when when you're an advanced lister for a lifter i already addressed the beginners for you 100 percent correct is compulsory so please make sure that you give form its importance yes heavy weight definitely this is from me and you can ask if, if you don't know me you can ask people who know me i am the biggest proponent of heavy weight lifting and strength training and by strength training i mean training for strength and mass will follow i was rigid at once that i never trained high reps i considered it taboo to train high to train high reps but then as i grew uh, into the fitness into the fitness uh, science i knew that yes you have to shock the body so please this is a plea to both the beginners the advanced lifters and the intermediates all of the iron brothers and sisters and comrades please make sure you increase your numbers but make sure those numbers are valid and done in a correct manner i'm not saying i'm not saying do it 100 percent perfectly but at least make sure 
that you do it 80% correctly so that you avoid injury. You make sure you hit those numbers as well. You grow as well. And you don't just work your ego. You work your muscle. A person who squats 100 kg with proper form that is breaking parallel, coming back up, being in control of the motion will be stronger than a person who instead of 100 kg is lifting 120 kg but is not even close to parallel and is not in control of the movement and their spotters are doing half the work. Okay, don't lift weight that you cannot handle on your own. Yes, taking a spotter once in a while for pushing yourself beyond failure is cool. I never take spots. Okay, I follow an idol of mine, Mr. Mike O'Hearn, on that. I never take spots. But then sometimes when you have a partner, occasionally when you're working with someone else, you can definitely go ahead and push yourself beyond failure. But then racking on 600 pounds when you can actually bench 400 pounds yourself and your spotter is doing some upright rows and you're benching, that doesn't really count, bro. Doesn't. That's fucked artery, nothing else. So please, increase your numbers, legitimately do the exercises correctly and to the beginners, please do not be form police and please do not shun someone's gain simply by stating that he is definitely on steroids. He might be working very hard for the last 10-15 years and he might just be someone who figures what is working out for him and that might just be working for him. Okay, try and think it uh, in this fashion as well. You're not on, uh, always right. Other people can be right as well. Okay.